guys, it's Christy. I'm here with the girls. You can't see them right now, but I'll show you in a minute. I have got my drink, which is an immunity drink. Which I started drinking this like last week because for about a month now, my allergies have been awful. And so I decided to start using this and it's the immunity blend from Sun Food Superfoods. And I've used some of their protein powders and stuff in the past, so I decided to give this a try. And I have to say, I actually think that it's helping some. Okay, not, it's not curing it by any means, but it's definitely helping. And I feel like it gives me a little energy boost. So I'm drinking it once a day. And of course, I've got my pretty little glass that I got for the summer. I can't believe that at the end of this week, it is going to be September. So it is still in the 90s here. I have not started decorating for fall yet, but I'm getting excited too. And that's what I'm thinking about today is we're gonna be doing an end of summer tablescape. I don't wanna do anything too elaborate. This is gonna be just like a spur of the moment, let's make me happy kind of thing. And I'm gonna do it differently than I've done tablescapes in the past. In fact, I'm not even sure if I will finish it in this video or if I'll finish it in another video. So today I'm gonna to kind of get it set up and see, I have some ideas. So I wanna see how it goes. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna sip on my energy drink or my immunity drink. And oh, by the way, this is super good. It tastes to me very tropical and I couldn't figure out what the taste specifically was and Whitney tasted it and he liked it too. And he said he thinks it tastes like banana. And when he said that, I was like, yes, that's what it has this banana flavor to it. But to me, it's just like very kind of tropical with that banana kind of flavor. I need to do a little bit of cleaning. So I'm gonna vacuum the floors. I might straighten up in the living room again as part of my daily six, which I have been doing. I have not talked to y'all about my daily six, but I'm gonna start talking about that in my videos because it has been a game changer for me and I'm thinking that some of you might like it too. So I'm gonna start sharing that. And basically, it's just six things that I'm doing every day to keep my house clean. And I actually call it the daily six plus one because you know there's weekly tasks that I need to do as well and monthly things and stuff. So I do my six things every day and then there's always a plus one that goes along with it. So I'm gonna be sharing a lot more about my daily six with you coming up in future videos. But today I still need to vacuum part of my daily six because of these girls. Here, let me show you. Let's see, Lily is behind me over here and Lacey was on the ottoman, but I believe she has gone and gotten herself on the couch, which y'all, she is not not supposed to be on the couch. We all know that, but she does not anyway. I'm gonna get her off here in a minute, but it's a struggle. When they say the struggle is real, yeah, that, the struggle is real. Girls, they shed so much and they're in and out, tracking in all the dust. Like I've said, we live in the, like the dustiest place in the world also. So it's, a necessity. I need a vacuum and I do like to mop most days mopping the kitchen is part of my daily six but I don't mop every day and you would know like when I mop it's not necessarily a complete you know mop the entire floor sometimes it's just a spot mop or something like that but yeah usually there's some type of mopping on the kitchen floor so that's part of my daily six. I'm gonna do a few things to get this straightened and cleaned up and then we're gonna start working on the table and I'm just gonna show you what I have in mind and we're gonna do this table together. Like I said, I'm gonna need to go get some flowers and I may or may not do that today. I might wait and go in the morning because Trader Joe's, I believe they tend to put out fresh flowers in the morning, that's what I've been told. And so I'm gonna go probably in the morning and get some flowers because a lot of times when I go at this time of day, it's like three o'clock already. They're already sold out of their flowers for the day. So we'll see.
Hey, Lily, you want to say hi to everybody? Come over here, being a good girl, sleeping on my bed. Sister's over there with Daddy. Lacey always has to be the little helper in the kitchen. From day one that we got her, she likes to be in here with us when we're cooking. And Whitney, what's in this pot? We got green beans, which he cooked the other day, so he's just heating that up. And he's cooking some pork chops. And we're going to make rice bowls. things did not go quite as planned yesterday I ended up deciding that I did need to mop because the floor was filthy and I needed more than just a spot mop so I ended up mopping and then the yard people came and it was one thing after the other so I waited until this morning to go to Trader Joe's but I found some beautiful flowers I wasn't sure what I was going to find. You never know when you go to Trader Joe's. So a lot of times I have in my mind what I want and then I go and the flowers kind of change it up and that's exactly what happened this time. I was pleasantly surprised when I went and found these ranoculas. They are so beautiful. And so I want this to be an end of summer tablescape but with a vibe of moving into fall and when I found these ranoculas they also had the yellow which I thought were so pretty and kind of bring in that fall vibe but still give a summer vibe and then I found these so these are Veronica's and I thought these would be really pretty too and my idea is that I'm not going to mix these I'm going to try to keep the same flower in each vase. However, I did buy a little bit of greenery. I loved this greenery, but they only had one. So hopefully I can make it work for what I have in mind. Um, actually, I said they had one. It looks like they had two of these. So I should have enough. I didn't know I had found another one. Okay, so yeah, I got that. And I'm always giddy about my flowers. If you've watched my videos, you know I absolutely love flowers. So I am going to show you what I have in mind for the table. I'm going to show you the vases, and then I think I'm just going to put these together off camera and come back and show you everything. So let's take a look at what the table is right now and kind of what I'm thinking for the table. One thing I knew I was going to get was hydrangeas. I wanted them for this vase on the island, I think it's getting time where it's kind of like the last hurrah for hydrangeas, at least for me for a while, because I will start bringing in more fall colors. And to me, hydrangeas just say summer. I love hydrangeas and I just thought that would be so pretty to fill my vase one more time. Here's what the table looks like now. It's very plain, basic. I've had it like this for a while and it's been great for the summer just to add a little pop of color with the green placemats. I was not intending to keep the green placemats and I'm probably going to change them, but I do want to keep my table runner the same. I want this to be very, very simple, but I'm probably going to move the vases because what I was thinking was I wanted to add some blue. So I'm thinking I'm going to use my blue vases and just kind of spread them along the table and add in some pops of blue. magazine and it gave me an idea for a tablescape where you just have a lot of bud vases running along the table and there's just a single flower or two in each bud vase and it's so pretty and it's like the table is filled with flowers and I thought that would be so pretty so I have started thrifting for bud vases and I've found a few, but not many. So I went the other day and I found three of these little vases that I thought would be perfect. They're so cute. 
So there's three of these and I'm just looking for different shapes and sizes. Also found these and I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They're not exactly bud vases, but I'm gonna use them anyway. I think with just one or two flowers in it, they would look great. And I think on a table with these others, they will look really good. And I think they were each like $1.99. These little ones were 49 cents a piece. And let's see, this one was $1.99. And then I found this, which I actually think is like a vinegar or something or another because it has the stopper lid. But look at it without the lid. I think it's so cute and pretty and unique for the table. So I went ahead and picked it up. And the idea is that you just have a ton of different ones. So I do want to have some matching, but I'm okay with the fact that they're not going to be all matchy-matchy. And then I found this, it's not completely clear. It kind of has a greenish tint to it, which is not my favorite, but it's not so bad that I didn't want to buy it. So I went ahead and got it anyway. And this one was 99 cents. So I'm going to use my blue vases and I'm going to see what happens when I fill those. And I may try putting some of the bud vases on just to fill in the table. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I wanted to show you this haul. And the other thing that I couldn't resist when I was at the thrift store was this. If you have watched my Christmas videos, you know that I absolutely love my glass present boxes that I thrifted several years ago and I revamped them. So this ribbon is not the prettiest and it's definitely seen better days. So I'm definitely going to be redoing this and if it has these old you can't really see them well because of the ribbon, but it's the old timey like green lights. So I am gonna spruce this up and add it because I love the shape of it. My others are square shaped. So I love the fact that this was a rectangle. And I forget how much this was, like $4 or something like that. So I went ahead and picked it up too. thinking with the blue vases I ended up putting the larger hurricane back just to fill in that center space so we'll see I do have another blue vase that is taller and skinny but I'm not sure that I want to put flowers in it um, and have it be that much taller than the rest so we'll see I'm not sure what I'll end up with but for now this is kind of what I'm thinking and I just wanted to do this to give me an idea for how I'm gonna do my flower arrangements. And then I just added a couple of the little bud vases and these to see maybe about filling in. So I'm just gonna play around with it and see how it ends up looking. Flower arrangements I have done so far. I like how they came out. I wanted a very natural look when I was in the store. This is kind of what I had pictured. So I have the ranoculas in these two and I think these were called Veronica's. So I, I added a little bit of the greenery because I like the little whimsy that it gives and I like the contrast of the darker green from the flower with the lighter green from the greenery. And I have yellow flowers that I am gonna end up using as a little pop of color on the table. Um, I got to figure out how I'm going to incorporate that, but I wanted this really natural kind of green, creamy, white, and yellow tones on the table. Now, it really would look good, I think, with these placemats, but I'm not sure that's actually the look that I'm going for. So we're just going to play around and see what we end up with. We're on day three of the tablescape. I got all the flowers done yesterday and it looks so good. So I've got the center piece, how I like it. I added a few things today and I decided to change my vase 
or my hurricane vase out to this one, which was in my dining room. It's a little bit taller and I just like the shape of it. And it also has like this kind of, um, you know, bronzy little tint to it, which I thought was perfect for this end of summer, early fall tablescape that we're going for. I love how the flowers turned out so whimsical and it just looks like I have flowers throughout the whole table. I added the little tea light candle holders just to kind of fill it in, but I wanted this look where it just looked like there were flowers all throughout the table. And even though I don't have all the little bud vases like I wanted, I think I got pretty close to the look that I was going for. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'll show you a pan of this in a minute, but I'm really, really liking how this has turned out. So I went ahead and pulled a bunch of stuff. I thought we could just have fun today and play with some different place settings. So I've pulled out a few different placemats. I don't think I'm gonna go with this placemat because it's kind of not the look that I'm really going for, but I actually thought this mustard color with the yellow flowers would be so pretty. Um, I actually have a mustard table runner too, but again, not the look I'm going for, but we're gonna play with this one. I will show you a place setting for this one because I think it would work and I think it would be really pretty, especially if you wanted to lean more into the early fall than the late summer. With the flowers that I chose, I feel like I really did kind of go more with the late summer than the you know early fall, but it's really a mix. And what's so cool about this is I feel like I could just change out the flowers and leave the vases exactly the same and turn it into a early fall. So I'm really excited to see how it comes out. So I pulled, like I said, a few different placemats. Originally, when I decided to do this table, I was thinking I wanted to use this. I've had green out all summer, so I thought it would be really fun to do some blue because I haven't done blue this summer. I, I love my denim placemats. I got these at Dillard's several years ago, and they're like one of my staples, and these are perfect for summer, fall, so I love that. And then, of course, I have these placemats, which I think are perfect, and I think both of these are gonna look really pretty on the table. So we'll see how that comes together. And then I pulled some more things. So I have my wicker uh, chargers. We'll see what ends up happening with those. I also pulled these chargers and I think they're gonna look good with a play setting. I don't know why I can only find five of them though. I'm not sure where the other one went, but we'll figure it out. And I've pulled different plates. So if you can see, I've got my blue plates. I have these that pull in all of the different colors from the table. Where do I go? Okay, here. So. Yeah, I think that will pull the colors together. I only have four of these, so I'll have to mix and match, but you know, we're good at doing that. And then I pulled my blue plate, the blue. I need to get more of my white plates. So I'm gonna try some with the white. And then I pulled these, which I feel like these plates are very summery, but I think I can make it mix and match and work. and. Since I am going more summer, I think we can pull it together and maybe this will look good too. So I'm going to set up a table and then I'll turn the camera around and show you. But first I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have for the place setting. But I think what I'm gonna do for the most part is just show you the place settings once I get them done. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, pulled a bunch of napkins. So I have different colored napkins that will play with all of that. So yeah, I'm gonna, I may show you a little clip of me putting it together, but I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that since I really wanna show you different looks this time. Lacey, you want a treat? Come on.
Não, não. Deus, aqui não. Here's a look at the first place setting that I went with. I only put the napkins on this side. I didn't do the other side since I'm gonna be changing it out here in a minute. But I ended up using my wicker chargers and I decided to go with the white plates. I felt like when I tried the blue plate, I just feel like it was a little bit too dark. So when you put it all together, I mean, that looks great. But when you put the whole thing together, I just felt like it made it feel a little bit heavy. So I prefer the white plates, especially with the flowers. I feel like the flowers are very feminine and organic and the blue just like makes it feel a little more masculine and heavy than I wanted it to feel. But either one I think would definitely work. So here's a look at the first place setting. had one more of these little flowers but I thought it would be pretty to put a touch of yellow so whatever I do if I was gonna have this as a tablescape for company I would definitely go buy some more so that I could have some yellow flowers and whether it was this particular one or a different yellow flower I would go buy some just so that I could put in the napkins to have that little touch of yellow with the placemats. So I feel like that kind of ties everything Maybe together. Just a little change out and I really like it. So these are the plates that I have that have all of the colors, the green, blue, yellow. I feel like they tie the centerpiece together so well. And all I did on these were decorative. Since I only had four, I put them on the ends and then I used the blue and white striped napkin. And again, I would put the little hint of yellow in here and I think it would just pull everything together so well. And then over here, I didn't have any more of these. There's only four, but this plate works so well with that because this blue is in these plates, that same blue. So I used those in the center. And on that one, I went ahead and put the napkin on top because it was just a solid color. So I felt like it helped break that up a little bit. And then on the end, I did the same. And I think this one looks so pretty. I think I like this one better than the first one, even though the first one would certainly work, especially if you were outdoors. I think the first one would look really good, but yeah, I am absolutely loving this one. quick switch out leaving the placemats the same and I just switched so that we have all of the solid blue plates and I think this one's really pretty too I did like the other one where it brought in all the colors but this one looks so nice and simple and fresh so I really kind of like this one as well and I did try it with the blue but I still think it looks best with the white it lightens it up I just feel like it needs that lighter shade to it so I'll show you this but I'm still thinking that it looks best with the white even though it definitely works but I just think the white gives it that little pop that it needs to kind of lighten it up because the flowers are white it's a little more feminine that way I said that before but I really do think it makes a difference I switched out the chargers to the white chargers and so I went ahead and used the darker blue plates because I feel like there you get the contrast. And so I like it. I just feel like with these placemats, you need that little pop of cream or white in there. So I like these chargers. I left the wicker one here. Like I said, for some reason, I can't find one of my chargers, but it's around here somewhere. I just can't find it at the moment. And I think this table would actually look good if you mixed 
and matched where you did maybe the wicker in the center and then the whites on the two ends. I do kind of like that look as well. So this is what this one ended up looking like and I think it's equally as pretty as the others. look with these placemats and then I'm going to switch out the placemats. So I ended up putting the colorful plates back with the darker and the light chargers and I really like this one too. There's something about these plates that are definitely drawing me because of the mix of colors. It really does pull everything together. So I'm leaning towards these plates for sure. Um, I'm not sure if I like the white chargers better or the wicker chargers better. Let me know what you think. Actually, the more I say it, when I look at it here and here, I kind of think I like the wicker. Um, I like the texture that the wicker brings in. So I do think I would probably go with the wicker chargers. Just changed out the placemats. For my last look of the day, I will probably show you some more looks, but I have an appointment I need to get to, so I'm gonna wrap it up here for now. I love how this one turned out. So I changed it to the woven placemats, and I used the beautiful colored plates, and I used the blue, so it's pretty much the same place setting as last time, but I did use these mustard um, napkins and I think with these particular plates because the plates have yellow in them I think it looks great I love the look that that gives and then I kept the denim napkin in the middle but I could probably switch it out for the mustard and it would look good I am going to turn the camera around and show you this look and of course you have to tell me in the comments what's your favorite what would you go with um, I'm leaning towards maybe this right now. I don't know. I'm going to play around a little bit more later and see. So this is the last look for today. And then I'll come back and show you some more in a little bit. I know this video is getting long, but I just thought it would be fun to do this and have all kinds of different looks and let's pick which ones we like the best. Here's a look at it from this side. It came together so pretty. I just love these plates. So you know what I'm leaning towards, that. <laughs> I love the plates. What do you think about these placemats versus the blue ones? I really wanna know what you think. And the mustard napkins. I'm liking them. I have to say it pulls the yellow from the flowers in the centerpiece and it ties in with the yellow in the plates. I'm not sure if I like it when there's no mustard or yellow in the plates. I don't know, it's not awful. And it ties, like if I have the other ones there, then it makes sense. But I'm not sure that I like it if I don't have any other yellow on the table. So I don't know, what do you think? You know, let me know, what would you do in this situation? All right, I'm just having fun, guys. <laughs> I hope you are too. It's another day and I wanted to show you a couple more looks with the table and then we'll wrap this up. I love how it's turning out looking. It's very casual and very much end of summer to me, the way that it's turning out. I'm gonna turn the camera around here in a minute, but all I've done is I ended up removing the white charger. I felt like that made it look a little bit formal. And by removing it, I think it's a little more casual and just looks like maybe this could be a very pretty outdoor tablescape. I think it would. And I could see for end of summer or early fall having this. And I'm getting excited because it's gonna be cooling off here in this next week. And I'm thinking that when these flowers go, I'm gonna go back to Trader Joe's and get some fall flowers. And all I'm gonna do is replace it with the fall flowers. And I think it's gonna be so pretty. The girls are outside and Lacey 
It's right here. I need to clean the nose prints off the door always. It's like an ongoing cleaning task. There they are. Lily's dead asleep on that rug over there and Lacey is out here sleeping, but she's always gotta see what's going on. A quick look with the blue napkins. I just switched them out with the mustard. I definitely like the mustard better. I think it pops more. So I would definitely go with the mustards. Now, if I was gonna use this one, I would probably place it on the side so you would get more colors from the plate. And I definitely like that better than it sitting on the plate, but I would probably still go with the mustard. Do you enjoy just playing around with stuff like this or do you prefer to just kind of decide and go with whatever you decide? I change it out for the mustard placemats and this is so pretty. I think if I was doing something at night, I might would use those. I left the other side with the woven placemats so you could see the difference. I really like the texture of the woven, but I love the color and the, I guess the tone of the mustard, how it kind of grounds everything and the contrast of the mustard to the table runner. So I think if I was doing it at night for some type of entertaining, I would probably go with the mustard, but I love both looks. So what I'm thinking right now is for summer and that end of summer look that I'm going for, I would probably choose the woven placemats but when I go to switch it out with fall flowers and make it early fall, I may go ahead and use the mustard placemats. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see it better. Here it is, and I wanted you to be able to see kind of both sides of it so you could get a feel. I definitely like the mustard with the mustard napkins and I think it just looks beautiful like this. And y'all, I don't know what happened, but I can only find two of these mustard napkins, even though I know I have a whole set. I've got stuff strewn all over the place, which is part of what I'm doing with all my decluttering and organizing. I'm trying to move things over, so I'm sure I've moved it somewhere and I just can't find it at the moment, but I'll be able to find it sometime soon. So here's a look at this and I would love to know what you think about this particular one because I really do like it. But I do think that the lighter color for the end of summer is my preference. I've settled on my final look and I love how it turned out. It's light and airy and it gives me those casual end of summer vibes that I want, yet it has some warmer tones that are bringing in that fall feeling or that early fall. So it's exactly what I wanted. I can't wait to switch it out to the fall colors using exactly the same thing. And I will definitely show y'all what that looks like when I do it. Oh, and I did find my other mustard napkins. So I have been moving things around with all of my decluttering. I'm trying to declutter and organize some things. And so I'm moving all of my entertaining stuff that I've had spread out all over the house to some central locations. And that's how it had just gotten mixed up in the shuffle there. So I'm still in the process of doing all of that. I really even enjoyed this. I like showing you these different looks. Let me know if you enjoy seeing this or not. So next time I do a tablescape, I'll know if you just want me to do the tablescape or if you wanna see different looks like this. And make sure that you give it a like if you enjoyed it. That really does help out my channel. It lets the algorithm know to send it out to other people. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably like the one that's gonna pop up on my end screen at the end of the video, so make sure you check that one out too. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.